What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Gatsby, also known as Jonah Price. Welcome back to another episode of Greenlight, baby. It's been so long since I recorded a video, dog. Peerless in the end, featuring Nardo and Kylie Breely. This comes courtesy of Indie Amplify. If you don't know Indie Amplify, it's a super sick company that allows you to work with your favorite creators hassle-free. Um, but so listen, check this out, check this out. I watched this on a stream the other day and was going to do the reaction there. Because uh, that's where I do all my reactions, do all my reactions on live streams now. So if you're not there Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 p.m., you should definitely check it out. But watching through the, the, the video when I was editing it, I was like, man, there were a lot of things that I missed because I was paying attention to the chat, because I was paying attention uh, to my stream labs and getting everything set up. So I wanted to do this again and give it its full video uh, and make sure that the respect was paid to the song that, that was deserved. Because the first time I listened to this, bro, it the, the vocals just blew me away. And there's one verse especially that just d d d took my breath away. So, Peerless, if you want the original uh, live stream cut, let me know, and I'll send you a Twitter DM with the link for it, and you can have that as well. I might do that from in for Indie Amplify reactions from now on, is do it on a live stream as well as post the video. I want to do the video first because I want to give a genuine first reaction. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of digging that format to give everybody, like, you know, double the exposure because, you know, you, you send things into reactions to, to try to – you know, reach out to some of their community and find people that, you know, might fuck with what you're doing. So I, yeah, I love that people reach out to me on Indie Amplify and I want to give them the respect that they're due. So let's hop into this song, Peerless in the End, featuring Nardo and Kylie Breely in the end remix. Bop. Just that freaking riff brings back so many memories from when I was, I, I can't remember what we found out because the song is from what? The video is from 2009. The song is from like 2003 or something. That little boom, 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 brings back so many freaking memories. It starts with, that's my childhood right there. All right, let's go. Starts with one. Woo! Switch up the format a little bit instead of hopping right in. We give it a little a little sustain out of that. I like that. I like that. Her voice is beautiful too. This dude's got some drip with it. He got some I like the I like the fit there. It's with I like the Spain chorus elements. I like it. As the years go by and time fades away, the life I want now gets closer in every way. Around the corner, yet miles away, I got. So we get a little, we get original verse here. Some original verses on this, not the original Lincoln Park verses. We get some, some, some writings here. I like it. All right, let's go. The life I want now gets closer in every way. Around the corner, yet miles away. I gotta remind myself that today is a good day. I've been basing my life upon what others think. Okay. I wish I could go back and redo everything. Now times have changed, I realize nothing's fair Sometimes it seems like nobody even cares The little panned vocals, the, the, the panned, um, like, stab vocals or, like, an emphasis track on there is super sick Slightly distracting, in a way, because I feel like it muddies the vocal mix up a little bit But I like the, the idea of it going back and forth in the background, for sure Seems like nobody even cares but this is what I gotta spare. Streets took me, I came back. Bought me some cane back and made a quarter mill on the same pack. Remember Woo! me? The black kid with the big head. I never took shit, but took shit with a big bread. I'm on one. I came from poverty, dickhead. And I ain't never uh. asked no apologies. This dread is awesome. It's sad we floss from too fast. Flow switch is nasty right there. This, this guy's verse is crazy. All right, he going off. He's going off. I came from poverty, dickhead, and I ain't never asked no apologies. This dread is awesome. It's sad we flossed them. Too fast we lost them. Take ops and cross them. Look that we boss them, huh? Now whenever we out, they applauding, huh? And whenever we see thoughts, we on them, huh? Ain't got nothing to beef about, we ballin', huh? Got a rip in the seats out the floor and just left the door. The feds kicked the door and no loss, I'm scoring. So fly, I'm soaring, huh? Can't pronounce the shit that we pouring, huh? Can't pronounce the shit that we pouring. Lost and cold, never seen with it like a stone. Broken bones, man, this feeling's getting old. If you could see 
What is haunting my dreams and every word that I speak? Can you even understand what it means? Tear Ooh. away my outside and you'll see. <laughs> He's got a really interesting flow pattern. Peerless does. Where she almost goes one measure longer than where I expect the rhyme to hit. So like, let's let's find an example here. Word that I speak, can you even understand what it means? Like right Tear there. Oh, hold up, hold up. Like I expected to go, can you even understand me? And it goes, can you even understand what it means? There's the rhyme right there. So it goes like one measure longer than I expected to go. Stone, broken bones, man, this feeling's getting old. If you could see what is haunting my dreams and every word that I speak, can you even understand what it means? Because like it goes like a one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. So it extends, it just, it goes one measure longer than I think it's going to. Man, this feeling's getting old. If you could see what is haunting my dreams and every word that I speak, can you even understand, understand what me? it means? No. Tear away my outside and crazy. you see. The stains that cover me are real deep. But the people I trust, I keep close to me. It ain't really what it seems. And breaking at the seams, all I hear is in the demons to listen to him scream. Woo! Okay, then. The memory! crazy thing is okay so i was talking about that like panning in the background right or like the panning vocals here his visual is almost the same he's got like that little like effect like the echo range around his this being here i don't know what you call it i would just call it like a freaking aura he's got like a little aura in the vid visual right a little, a little fuzz around him that's kind of what that that vocal effect feels like so they are in like they are kind of harmonious so i dig that I That pitch lift. Jump the octave. Sheesh. Ah, uh, transition back. Ah. Yeah, dude. I. <laughs> Man, I, I, I like it even better now that I'm able to, like, fully pay attention to it and get the little idiosyncrasies of what you were doing with it. Because I didn't hear some of that stuff. I didn't hear the little echo in the, the, the stream the, when I listened to it on stream. I didn't see that little effect on the, you know, the video and stuff like that and some of the, the, the lyrics and the rhyme patterns and stuff. Man, it's cool to get a second perspective of it as well. Uh, so, again, Peerless, if you want the original... Uh, visual. I might just go ahead and send it to you. I might just go ahead and send that reaction. But yeah, I might do this for all the indie amplifiers from now on. I might record a video and then do one on live so they get double the exposure, double the respect from me, you know, because I always want to show respect to people that show respect to me, and I appreciate everybody reaching out to me and wanting me to uh, to critique, to review, and to uh, react to their art. It's huge. I love it. I appreciate you guys. Do all the cool YouTuber shit. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.